Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to look in and see what's going on. So whatever the cards want to say. Most likely about love. Could be about money, a career, just whatever comes up. Dreams, visions, and telepathy. Anger, miscommunication. Confusion and uncertainty. I almost feel like you're on the same page with someone, but you guys are both being stubborn, and so you're not realizing that you're on the same page. It almost feels like you guys are together in the 5D, like on, like in the higher realms, you know, like psychically you guys are together, like you guys are having dreams about each other, or you are telepathically communicating. But, you know, in the 3D, in the physical, it feels like there's, there's anger, there's miscommunication, there's confusion on your end or their end or both. But I think the reality is you guys are both on the same page. You both want a new start with each other. You both, you know, we have adventure, honeymoon, vacation here. It's like you both want this new start with each other. But, you know, maybe you hurt them in the past or maybe they hurt you in the past. Um, maybe there was cheating involved for some. I'm just getting that it's like someone, there might have been some miscommunication. There might have been something that was said that someone took the wrong way. But it just feels like there's a lot of love here, but for some reason you guys don't feel fully safe being vulnerable with this person. And they, you know, vice versa. It feels like they don't fully feel safe being vulnerable with you. It's like there's, you know, possibly different love languages or just, you know, different communication styles here. A sense of belonging, home, safe space, pride and stubbornness, pause, reflection, rest. X the past. Passion and romance. Taking it slow, pulling them in and getting to know each other. I feel like there also could have been miscommunication here because maybe you both have it. Okay, this isn't for everybody, but for quite a few of you, I feel like maybe you're used to people chasing you or you're trying to get to a point where people chase you. Like maybe you've chased people in the past. So you're trying to get to this point where people chase you instead. And this person also feels the same way. Like they want to be chased. They want to be pursued. And so it's kind of like, like, see these people are like, they want to be near each other. Like they're right next to each other, but they're pretending like they don't see each other for whatever reason. It's like, they're ignoring each other. They're not acknowledging each other so it's like you know you might have waited for them to chase you and they were waiting for you to chase them you know it's like you were trying to pull them in you wanted this passion you wanted this romance with them but it's like they you know someone just didn't understand something so i'm getting that there was miscommunication here this person might be insecure they might just it's like it's like someone felt rejected, but I don't think that was how it was meant to be taken. Now, this could be body language. This could be, you know, like I said, maybe you were trying to get them to chase you, like you wanted them to pursue you, but they just assumed that you weren't interested or vice versa. Um, I feel like it just feels like there's like miscommunication here. Like you guys are really on the same page. The love is there. The desire to have you know, maybe travel together, you know, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like all that energy is there, that emotion is there, but there's someone got there, someone hurt their own feelings, it's like someone, someone overthought something, you know, someone, you know, blinded themselves, it's like they trapped themselves, and we have truth and clarity, what is the truth and clarity about? Ending a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, reconciliation yeah it's like you're gonna get a truth about something I feel like you're gonna have this recognition like oh wait they weren't rejecting me maybe it was almost like for some it could be like a tough love kind of scenario where they you know maybe someone gave you an ultimatum or you gave someone an ultimatum you know what I mean like maybe you were trying to 
I just feel like someone is insecure here, whether it's you or them. I feel like sometimes someone, whether it's you or them, them, I feel like someone here misinterprets things sometimes. Sometimes they're, this person's insecurities get the best of them. And so you can say something, you know, very well-meaning and this person, whether it's you or them, it's like this person will take those words and, you know, overthink them. And let's, let's say, for example, you said, you know what, I want you to work on, on your drinking problem, or I want you, um, I want you to get, you know, get your shit together. Like I, you know, I deserve more than this. That person didn't, they didn't hear what you were trying to say. They didn't, they didn't realize that you were trying to push them to be better. They just immediately thought, oh, I'm not good enough for them. Or, oh, see, like they're getting sick of me. This person could have some kind of mental illness that kind of clouds their judgment and their thinking and makes them just go into this dark, get, they, it's like they get triggered and they go into this dark place really easily and they assume the worst. I feel like this person has some abandonment issues so, and like I said, this could be you, this could be them, or it could be you, it could even be both of you, you guys might have the same, you know, there there might be some kind of mental illness underlying that you guys both have that same mental illness for some, but, um, but yeah, there is something that, that just, it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't heard, it's like you were trying to, you know, someone misinterpreted something, and it didn't need to be interpreted, I feel like it was very, something very simple, like, you know, just, just maybe, maybe an ultimatum or maybe, you know, telling someone what you expect from them and they, they got insecure and they just, they, you know, someone took it the wrong way, but I'm getting that the love is mutual, but you have to also decide like, do you want that? You know? Okay. So like, yeah, there are feelings deep down here. You know, the feelings are mutual and this person is just being stubborn because they, you know, they hurt their, they overthought things and then they hurt their own feelings they misinterpreted something. And like I said, for some, this might not even be words. This could just be actions. It could just be that, you know, you wanted them to pursue you. You wanted them to step up. And instead of realizing that you were trying to get them to chase you, they just thought that you were just not interested. Like they just, they didn't get it. They just, it seems like this person needs a world of reassurance. So you really need to kind of sit for a minute and, you know, pause, reflect, rest, you know, think on this, go easy on yourself and really think about this. Like, Okay, yeah, the, the love is mutual, but do you want to deal with this? This person's insecurities might be an issue down the road. So you're going to really need to think about this. I mean, there's love here, but it almost feels like... It feels like either you both want it, there's an imbalance, like you guys are both submissive or you're both dominant. It's kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like for a lot of you, you might both be submissive. It's like you both want, like you want them to chase you and vice versa. And so, you know, if you, if you dominate and you take control, then yeah, you can get this person to be submissive. But do you want that? I hope that makes sense. Stagnation, toxicity. Divine intervention. Open, honest, commute. Oh, sorry. Open, honest communication message. Vulnerability, receptivity, waiting, hoping, praying. I almost feel like, I feel like someone is creating negativity that didn't need to be there. It almost feels like, so either you projected something onto them that wasn't fair to them, or they projected something on you that wasn't fair to you. It just feels like whoever this is, this person has abandonment issues, and it's almost like, like this person might have projected um, just things that their ex has put them through. And, you know, everybody has baggage. It's not like you can just get rid of your baggage automatically. You know, like people are going to come into relationships having trust issues, having abandonment issues to work through. It's normal. But it just seems like someone was 
taking it a step further and being unreasonably harsh, you know, blaming you for, you know, assuming the worst. This could be like, like just assuming you're going to break their heart right off the bat. Because it feels like someone was creating stagnant energy. It just, it's, it just seems like someone was self-sabotaging this, basically. Seems like this, this situation was stagnant for a while. It's like someone wanted the upper hand. You know, it became toxic and it didn't need to be toxic. Someone was just afraid of getting hurt. Or they, you know, they projected their own fears of abandonment and their own insecurities onto someone else. And I feel like the divine is intervening now. The divine is stepping in because I feel like this is a good person deep down. This is someone who's just been through a lot and they have a lot of uh, shadow work to do that they haven't really been doing. So, and this could be you. It, it could be that maybe you're the one that hurt this person. This could even be a friend. It might not even be a, um, you know, it might not even be a lover. This could be a friend. It just kind of feels like Someone needs to send an open, honest message here. There needs to be open and honest communication between these two. Feel like it feels like the divine is intervening here, because it's it's almost like like you two are meant to to be in each other's lives for a very long time. This is you know true love, potential life partner. You know, this isn't just, this doesn't seem like this is just a karmic lesson. This seems like it's more, and follow your own intuition. You know what I mean? Like if you're dealing with someone that's toxic, like, you know, cut them out. Don't deal with that. But this is someone where it's like, you can tell that they're a good person, but you can also tell that they have a lot of shadow work that they haven't done. It's like, you can tell that they are, you know, they're loving, they're kind, they're empathetic, they're patient with you. It's almost like their toxicity, like, it's like, not like they're really toxic. It's almost like it's, um... Like surface level toxicity, I don't know if that makes sense. Almost like they just, they just, I just get this self sabotage energy where they just, they overthink things and they create issues that aren't there. And so sometimes it's maybe like a neurotic energy or they just, they worry too much, they get upset about things that haven't even happened. Um, but the divine is intervening because, you know, this is, there, there is more going on. Um, behind the scenes, you know, this is, you know, this very well could be a divine partnership. So someone needs to get, um, you know, get out of their head and try to find more of a balance. And like I said, this could be you. It could be that you need to apologize to someone. It could be that you, you know, maybe you're a really good person, but you've been through a lot. And so you, you push people away these days and maybe you push the wrong person away. Maybe you push someone away that you actually really love and you made assumptions and now you're finding out these assumptions aren't true, but you're just, you're afraid that they wouldn't give you another chance. And it's like, maybe you, you, you know, some, there needs to be some kind of honest heart to heart talk that takes place here. You know, something's got to give. Someone's got to be vulnerable because it's like you guys are waiting and hoping and praying and wanting to talk to each other. But honestly, it's, you know, someone has to has to cave and, and be the one to message first. You know, you have to be willing to be vulnerable and receptive and open and, you know, to, you know, match each other's energy. So, and like I said, if this isn't you, then this could just be your person. Your person's recognizing that they were wrong to push you away. They're starting to recognize that you didn't do anything wrong and that it was just, you know, it was illusion. It was just, it was their, their things that they went through with their ex, you know, childhood traumas, things that they were projecting onto you. Um, maybe like, maybe they're just very vulnerable with you and they're not used to being vulnerable with like that. And so it's like they, you know, they were maybe numb with so many different people and with you, it's like everything is just coming out all at once. Like all this emotion is just pouring out that they didn't expect. And some of that can be really, you know, dark and intense if they've been suppressing their emotions for a while. Um, so, yeah, you guys need to have an honest heart to heart talk is basically what I'm getting. And if this isn't you that needs to reach out first, then it's them um, realizing that they need to reach out first. This could, and like I said, this could be them you know, recognizing, I feel like the divine has intervened and kind of showed them like, hey, don't, don't mess this up. You don't need to mess this up. This is, 
it's almost like this person doesn't trust the universe. This person seems like, like, kind of feels like good things can't last for them. Like, they have this mentality of, like, oh, everything's always, everything's going to end. Um, good things won't, won't last for me. Everyone's out to get me. Like, I can't, you know, I have to protect myself. I can't trust anybody. And, you know, the divine is intervening, kind of showing them a different way and showing them that this is true love. This is worthwhile and getting them to be more in touch with their emotions and getting them to send this this open honest message and make things right between you two um so yeah take it as it resonates and as always if you want a private reading just send me an email my email is dragon enchantress at aol.com it is right below in the description box below this video and please like share subscribe um you know maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this message so i appreciate you guys sharing these videos out um thank you for watching